getting stormed with questions like और वैरायटी चाहिए वेजिटेरियन में दिस इज नॉट इनफ कम ऑन वी नीड सम मोर फ्लेवर वी वांट फ्लेवरफुल फूड व्हाट इज दिस न्यू वीगन थिंग नाउ ओके आई डोंट वांट एनी एनिमल प्रोडक्ट्स इन माय डाइट दिस एपिसोड इज डेडिकेटेड टू ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स हु डोंट लाइक एनिमल प्रोड्यूस हु वांट टू गेट इनटू सुपर फूड्स हु वांट टू नो व्हाट किनवा इज व्हाट इज दिस एंड व्हाट इज दैट माय फर्स्ट रेसिपी इज किनवा एंड लेंटिल सैलेड ओनली फॉर यू गाइस Quinoa is actually a seed of a plant which is grown in the Andes in South America. This has been eaten for the last 2 or 3000 years and it's only been rediscovered recently. We get it here in most food shops but it's not very very cheap but it's absolutely healthy. So how do you cook quinoa? Firstly, what you have to do is rinse the quinoa at least 2 or 3 times under cold running water after which you drain it out and then you take a nice heavy bottom pot and take the ratio of 1 is to 2 one part of quinoa to two parts of water in about 10 or 12 minutes all the water will be absorbed and a small germ like thing will come out which i will show you you can see it here cover the pot for about 8 to 9 minutes after that until the quinoa is nice and crunchy that's how you use quinoa at this stage you can use the quinoa directly or you can chill it properly and use it whenever you like let's get on by cooking some vegetables now i have some water which has just come up on the boil add a little bit of salt into this superb So after 45 seconds I am going to drain them shock them in ice water so that they retain their color texture and nutrition vegetables done now I need to drain them here and immediately shock them in ice water super Fabulous. Super. The best way to eat vegetables. All right, let's start with the salad. Some quinoa. Some lentils or masoor dal. Oh fabulous. Groovy mix. Next, pomegranate. Chopped spring onions. Dhania, freshly chopped coriander. Nicely mixed. Finally my beautifully blanched vegetables right here So I'm going to make these into smaller florets and mix them in Baby carrots with greens on going to split these into two Super nice one buddy then some asparagus just cut into one into two yes just peel separately give this a little mix wow we wow the salad ready all mixed up now the main part that groovy dressing Now for the dressing I've got mosambi which is the Indian sweet lime lovely flavor and I'll tell you people go and buy these exotic californian oranges and they pay so much for it this is our local produce and I 100% push this over anything else so mosambi here so we're going to do some mosambi juice now We 
squeeze it, baby. Fabulous. Mosambi juice, done. Next, some mustard for that kick. A little bit of mustard. Some chopped coriander. Some minced lemongrass. Some chopped up green chili. Some lovely basil leaves. Which I am just going to tear and put it inside. Ooh, groovy, groovy, baby. And some olive oil. Super. Okay, now give it a little mix. Next, the vinaigrette into the salad. This quinoa salad is absolutely divine. Let's plate it up. Quinoa and lentil salad with a Mosambi and lemongrass vinaigrette. Only for you. People, welcome to the world of superfoods. is going green so why shouldn't I let's cook some green rice what do I need for green rice lots of green things and look what I have here thyme oregano parsley spring onions coriander green onions jalapenos and the works let's start by making this groovy green puree for my green puree I'm going to be using some thyme to begin with. A few sprigs should be good. Some oregano. Amazing, amazing. Some curly parsley. Yes, lots of this stuff, lots of this stuff. Some cilantro, yani ke dhania. A bit of salt, pepper, and olive oil. Some salt going in this. Some pepper. A little bit of olive oil and some vegetable stock. Superb. This is going to be nicely blended and I'm going to be getting a beautiful green slurry. Once the herbs are done, I'm going to be adding lots of green spring onions. Done. One last splits and now let's start cooking my rice. Let's start off by putting some chili oil in this pan.
Let's start off by putting some chili oil in this pan. Some chili oil. Some red onions. Absolutely beautiful. A bit of the white of the spring onions. Some nicely minced garlic. Some cumin powder. Jalapenos are Mexican pickled chilies and they are available everywhere. Yes, let's move on. Now we're going to put this basmati rice. Now this rice has been washed two or three times. It's been soaked and then it's been drained. Very, very important in the cooking process. I'm just going to give this a little mix. A little bit of salt and pepper. And some vegetable stock. Superb. I'm going to be covering the pot now until it comes to a rapid boil and once the stock is being absorbed by the rice and it's almost absorbed, I'm going to be adding this green puree, some green bell peppers and some green olives. Now it's time to check the rice. Oh lovely, it's time to add the green puree to it. About two big spoons of it in here. Lovely. Some green bell peppers. It's all going green now. It's time to add some green olives. Oh, lovely. Perfect. Just a couple of minutes more, and my green rice is ready to rock and roll. Perfect. This took about 12 to 15 minutes to cook until all the stock was absorbed. I can get the flavors of the green bell peppers, of the jalapenos, the thyme, the oregano, the cilantro, parsley, olives. Amazing. I think it's time to play it up. Beautiful. Some sunflower seed sprouts on the top. Some spring onion greens. And some chili oil. This green rice is a meal by itself. 